Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to part two for the week of January 31st. This is part one. And if you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the pinned comment down below. So make sure to watch part one if you haven't already. But uh, we're just gonna wrap this up and clarify through. Uh, with that Orca card, you have this uh, Meerkat card. It says responsibility. You also have the Ten of Wands in this reading as well. I do feel like we're kind of entering into a time where people could be made more you know it's like the universe is kind of making people have to be more responsible <laughs> if that makes sense so i don't know it doesn't really surprise me that you know pretty much every single sign has been getting the ten of wands for like i don't know three weeks now so it just seems like a time of responsibility uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have the Hermit. Mm, I also feel like everybody is becoming more clear on their true desires. The Hermit is clarifying the Ten of Cups. And what I feel here is that it's like you could be becoming clear on like what your happily ever after is. Um, it does seem to me like the fire signs in particular are focused on this. Aries had the same message pretty much. Yours is a little bit different, but what I would say here is it's like when we become clear on what we want, then it becomes a lot easier to attract it. So I feel like you're getting very, very detailed. You know, the Hermit is Virgo and Virgos are like very analytical and very detailed in, in energy. And I think that's a great way to attract something into your life. It's like if you're getting getting very detailed about what you want in your life, then it's easier to attract it. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, being a little bit too cautious here with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like the Knight of Pentacles, I feel, is a too cautious of an energy. He needs to plant seeds in those fields behind him. They're ready to plant. It's kind of funny because it reminds me of like, you know, of my grandfather, it's like he grew up during the Great Depression and when he was alive, it's like he used to save everything, right? <laughs> and um, even my mom's grandfather, who uh, I was raised with when I was younger, like a you know a little kid, basically, he was like the same way. I remember like our garage, he had like all these jars with like screws and nuts and bolts in them. He like saved everything, right? And it's like that Great Depression um, mentality of not wasting anything. Um, but that's like a little bit too cautious of an energy. Like it was just a bunch of junk that sat around that never got used. We ended up throwing it all away and it's like you know I feel that I don't know why that's popping into my head <laughs> but it is it's like I feel like it's saying are there things you're holding on to that you just don't need at this time it's like you know I would look into that I, I don't know if it's literally talking about physical items or if it's talking about beliefs or, or whatever but I kind of feel like it would be a good time to look at those things and I feel like it would be a good time you know it's showing up really good reading by the way you know this middle row is amazing but I feel this ten of wands in the knight of pentacles is kind of like saying are there things that are weighing you down it's like are there things that are making it harder for you to be flexible and to move at this time uh and I don't mean literally, although it could be literally moving. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords. Some of you could literally be moving. <laughs> the Ten of Swords can just be a move. Ten of Swords is a card of something being dead done over with. Uh, so what is dead done over with? Probably your past life. You know, the Queen of Swords, she has her back going towards the past. So she's only focused on the future. I feel like a lot of you, I'm pretty sure every single reading I've done for you recently, there's been some sort of message about this, about like completely letting go of the past or, you know, completely moving past the past. So it doesn't really uh, surprise me. Uh, next with that eighth house card, you have the a retrograde card. We're, we're ending a retrograde for like this week. So there you go. And this card says review. I feel like it would be a great time to review. I think retrogrades are an amazing time to go back over things and rework things and figure things out and put in the work. It's like, I always tell people, it's no, I mean, just look at my channel, right? Every single retrograde, I run some sort of crazy experiment on my channel. Uh, do most of them work? No. <laughs> but the ones that do work are totally worth it. So, you know, what I would say here is like retrogrades are a great time to try to redo things or try to experiment with the things that you're already doing in your life. This doesn't just apply to work. This applies to relationships, businesses, your health, pretty much everything. So I feel like it'd be a good time for you to do that. We still have, you know, even though these are for the week of the 29th, we'll still be in the shadow till the middle of the month. So it's like you still have time. Uh, with the uh, King of Cups, you have the Five of Cups. Funny, because the King of Cups came up in reverse in your first reading, and you have the Five of Cups here. Five of Cups is a card of focusing too much on what you don't have, not being grateful for what you do have. If he were to turn around and see these cups, he would see this bridge that leads to this castle over here. So it's like he doesn't just get the two cups. By leaving behind the three cups, he gets the bridge and the castle. So I always think 
sometimes with the five of cups that and, and i definitely see this here in your reading because with the you have the two of wands here as well which would represent leaving a comfort zone it, it kind of looks like to me that you could be moving away from something or leaving something behind but it's like you're actually you have a lot to gain i feel like you're gaining something with the two of wands sometimes the five of cups makes me feel that there's like a lot more to gain than you realize with the uh, chariot you have the five of pentacles so Five of Pentacles feeling like you are being left out in the cold. Uh, definitely get out of your head. Two fives here as well, which is interesting, but uh, I would get out of your head with the Five of Pentacles. It could say that you're wanting to make a change with the Chariot, but you feel like you don't have the resources when you actually probably do. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Nine of Pentacles. I thought I switched back. I didn't. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, really good card. pre Empress Energy. She has like six pentacles over here, three pentacles over here, and she is like truly independent. She is willing to give these three pentacles to anything. Uh, could be that those pentacles don't have to be money either. Could be her time, her effort, her energy. She's willing to invest three pentacles. She keeps six pentacles to herself. Um, and so she's truly abundant. She maintains her abundance as well. Uh, people always ask me about this card and say like, well, you know, shouldn't it be equal give and take? I'm like, first off, no, number one not not always true we don't we don't have to it doesn't have to be this 50 50 thing i don't know where this 50 50 thing comes from in the first place but number one she keeps those six pentacles for herself so she can make more pentacles i think what people don't realize is like yeah she maybe only gives three pentacles of energy away to things in her life but that amount those three pentacles are always increasing it's always, it's like a percentage right it's like she's always increasing working to increase her abundance so she's always becoming more abundant so those three pentacles are always worth more so it's not like a 50 50 thing she's more she's more focused on increasing abundance so she can continuously give exponentially it's like much more powerful than just 50 50 right uh so really nice energy on the nine of pentacles for sure uh, with the bowl and the tree you have the hand which says in need of help assistance or guidance and you have the four leaf clover it says great good fortune on it so i like that definitely uh, some sort of wish coming in for you or there could be a lot of luck i would also say don't be afraid to ask for help with that hand card i keep telling people if there was if there was ever a time where you should be asking for help it's like the next five years or so because Again, when you're asking for help, you're providing abundance to another person. When another person is able to help you, it makes them feel good. It increases their abundance and they feel useful. So it's like when we make other people feel useful, then they feel good, then we feel good. And then we're, like, we're creating this positive feedback loop. I'm all about creating as many positive feedback loops as I possibly can over the next several years because I don't know, I feel like it's what the universe is asking us to do. It's like the universe is saying like, hey, you need to like do this. <laughs> and so that's what I would be doing doing with that. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Eight of Wands, quick success coming in for you. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you need help on a journey, if you need help on doing building a business or whatever, ask for help. Again, it's not about you, it's about them. You know, it's about the person you're asking for help. It makes them feel good. I, I keep telling people, if you're building a business, ask people for help because when you become successful, they're part of that. You're creating abundance for them, abundance for you. We need to be creating these like, you know, feedback loops, like I said, of abundance, because then we'll create a very abundant world. I think that, you know, things could go in any direction right now. So I'm encouraging people to create as much abundance as possible, but definitely uh, good things coming in for you. I do also feel that this could be a calling because Eight of Wands judgment definitely could be communication uh, coming in for you. And Eight of Wands is quick success. So really good. Uh, with the Six of Wands, you have the Ace of Swords. Definitely a victory coming in for you. Remember, your first reading was all about like a triple victory, but I felt like that triple victory message is talking about health, wealth, happiness, you know, kind of like the big three, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you know, I always like to say to people, is life perfect? Probably not. You know, I always get some sort of comment that's like, basically a person's like, my life is perfect, but I just got a paper cut. So your, your reading sucks. And I'm like, well, my readings do suck, number one, yes. But number two, um, what I would say is really a paper cut. You're going to like worry about a little thing. Um, you know, life is never perfect. We're all, all always going to have little paper cuts. You're always going to stub your toe, right? Something is always going to happen. What matters more is like, are you trending in the right direction? Which I just said to Leo. And I feel like this reading is saying, for the most part, can you be a majority on the good side? <laughs> if you can do that, you're going to be very happy. Uh, with the uh, two of wands, you have the justice card. Uh, literally exactly what I just said. Justice is cause and effect. It's like, can you be more on the positive side of things so that the scale tilts in the positive direction for the most part? 
Um, with the Judgment card, you have the Queen of Cups. Uh, very kind, caring, nurturing energy. I don't know, sometimes I feel like this energy, Judgment, Queen of Cups, is kind of like the universe wanting to take, to take care of you. I feel like it's hard when people feel like the universe is against them to believe that the universe wants good things for you. Um, but, um, you know, I do feel like the universe is like kind of saying, I want to take care of you <laughs> with that queen of cups. That's what's popping to my head. I also do feel like this could be love coming in for you. You have the king and the queen of cups showing up here. Divine counterparts could be a very solid connection. Uh, I, I also, again, back to the king of cups, I feel like that queen of cups is saying, nurture your emotions, take care of yourself. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Page of Pentacles. Um, probably, again, more cards of good news coming in for you. Also, Page of Pentacles, a card of learning. So I feel like you're learning at this time. Uh, remember, we were talking about responsibilities with that Ten of Wands. So I do feel like there's like an increase in your responsibilities. I don't really see this as a bad thing, though. I, I do feel like a lot of people are feeling busy or are busy at this time. But there's probably rewards to go along with that. It's like if you're working extra hard, but you're you're getting the rewards, that's fine. It's like like me. I'm, I'm, I'm doing double the work that I normally do on this channel. But it, like I actually feel more energetic than I normally do um, doing double the work. So it's like... As long as it's fulfilling, as long as you're filling up your cups, as long as you're taking care of yourself, and as long as you're getting rewards for it, it's like, go for it. You know, who cares? With the Two of Cups, you have the Knight of Cups. So it definitely could be a knight in shining armor coming in for those of you that are looking for love. The Knight of Cups could also be your dream life. Uh, normally, he's looking into that cup that he's holding, and he is dreaming of whatever it is that he wants in his life, happiness, um, abundance, you know, all sorts of things. So I feel like you could be attracting a lot of abundance and just like a lot of good stuff into your, into your life with this Knight of Cups. He's also standing in the desert, but there's water flowing in front of him. And it kind of says like, even though you're in the desert, you can still uh, manifest the things that you want in your life by, you know, putting in the work. So I would definitely put in the work with that Knight of Cups, but pretty good. Uh, That's a really good reading here, Sagittarius. I feel like you're definitely heading towards like a good victory or good fortunes with that four leaf clover. I want to clarify that. <laughs> you, have, you have the four wands, so definitely heading towards freedom or a celebration with that four leaf clover or marriage as well. So that looks nice. But uh, anyway, thank you for being here, Sag. Really appreciate it. Um, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, Sagittarius, and definitely enjoy your week.